Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us. My name is Calvin. I'm a music therapist at Notable Music Therapy Services in Reno, Nevada. And I want to thank you again for taking the time to join us here for our music and mindfulness. We're so glad that we're able to put these videos up on YouTube and keep the music going through this time of quarantine. During our mu music during our music and mindfulness session here today, I just wanted to offer you a chance to uh, give yourself permission to take the time you need, whether it's the length of this video, whether it's less than that, whether it's more than that, whatever time you need, I wanted to ask that you give yourself permission to take that time to relax, refocus, get back in touch with what's going on in your mind, in your body. It's so easy, even though, you know, we live here and this is who and where we are. It's so easy to lose track of that throughout the day, even when our list of things to do is limited. It's so easy to lose track or to get caught up in the future or the past or caught up in your emotions. And that's sort of what mindfulness is about, is acknowledging that, seeing it and acknowledging it and accepting it. And then also taking time to check in with yourself and let kind of those flurry of emotions and everything you're feeling and everything that's catching you up in it during this time, let it all kind of float, float into the void for a bit and check in with yourself. So I want to thank you for joining and, uh, taking the time and giving yourself the permission to be with us here today. With that little introduction aside, I wanted to jump into a bit of, you can call it a warm up or a cool down, I suppose. We'll start with some breathing, making sure to take those deep breaths in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Some people, if you want to do it to a count of breathing into a count of four, one, two, three, four, and out for a count of six, two, three, four, five, six, in. And out. Focus on the breath. Feel it in your lungs. Feel your diaphragm rising and falling with each breath. You can also take this time to check in with the rest of your body. As you breathe in, is there anywhere that you feel tension? When you breathe out, Relax those muscles, relax those points that you're feeling tense. Breathing in. And breathing out. thoughts are coming to you, acknowledge them, and then with each 
each exhale. Then drift away. If you wish, on the exhale, you can also choose to add a, a sigh to your exhale. Add a little bit of a vocalish, vocalization, a vocalization, if you will, on those exhales. Ah. Just let some of that tension Escape with each Hopefully you're somewhere that you feel safe and comfortable to vocalize and If not, that's all right. Maybe that's here with us On the internet Ah <sighs> On the next exhale, whatever, wherever your sigh is most comfortable, I want you to take a deep breath and then exhale on that sigh, whether it's vocalized or not, for as long as you can comfortably. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Ooh. Nicely done. As we continue to focus on our breathing, feel free to rest your hand on your chest. You can rest it on top of your head. You can rest it on your belly. Feel that breath. Feel where you're breathing into, and if you're vocalizing, as we know, sound is vibration, and our, our voice, our own instrument is inside us, and so feel free to try and feel where is that vibration coming from? Am I resonating down here in my chest? Or am I trying to make it more of a higher resonation? There's no wrong answer, of course, just making sure to check in with our bodies, and feel where we're at. Keeping in mind that while we're here together, sharing this moment now, there's not really a bad time to check in with yourself and with your breath. Like I mentioned, we tend to get caught up in the day with our thoughts and what we have to do, and I want to encourage you to make time, whether it's in these videos or outside, or if you notice yourself getting caught up in your emotions or really feeling some intense emotion, to take, take the time, give yourself the time and the permission to check in with yourself. some breaths and think and let those thoughts and those emotions slide away.
Now as we continue to focus on our breathing, I wanted to introduce a little piano music. I brought my piano with me to the group today. And I wanted to focus on particularly the sustain pedal I wanted to talk about for a second. For those who don't know, what the sustain pedal does is it holds out the sound of the piano, even if my hand is no longer holding the keys. I'll give you an example. reason that I wanted to bring out the sustain pedal today is because it I feel ties in with the idea of mindfulness and what I've kind of been talking about how even when we're hit with these seemingly urgent emotions or whether we're caught up in our thoughts and stuck in our heads if we take the time to really just take a breath, acknowledge those thoughts and feelings and then let them float away, kind of like the sound of the piano, strong at first and then softly drifting away. And as you continue to focus on your breathing, if you want to keep holding your hand, feeling those vibrations, I'm going to keep playing and I want you to encourage you to pay attention to what you hear in the piano and at the same time pay attention to that breath. Pay attention to where you feel it. And then when you're ready, turn those senses outwards back to the piano and then whatever else you might be hearing. Wherever it is that you are, if you're laying down, sitting up, check in with yourself and your surroundings and keep breathing it's gonna be okay
set those final thoughts. Fade away. breath going. Come back to the world around you. Observe the space you're in. What do you notice about it? Is it a calming space? Can you identify what makes it a calming space? Or if it's not, what could make it a more calming space? If anything. I recognize that not everyone always has a specific space that they can identify as calming. And recognize that we don't always take the time to find that space around us. We don't always have the means to find that space. And I want to acknowledge that whatever space that you're in right now, is enough. I'm glad that it's a space where you can join us. If listening to this has helped you calm down at all, then I guess if you have a piano at home or know someone who has a piano, you can try and replicate this for yourself. I was improvising based only on the uh, black keys on the piano. It's called a pentatonic scale. So if you or someone you know has a piano and you want to give it a whirl, go for it. And if not, then I'm glad you were able to spend the time here with us. Hopefully you managed to get something out of it, whether that's relaxation or some sort of internal centeredness or a nap, even. <laughs> Maybe one of the thoughts floating by was an old recipe that you'd forgotten about that you can now try. Whatever it is that you got from this experience, I encourage you to keep it in mind going forward and continue to allow yourself and Give yourself permission to take the time that you need. With so much going on, so much uncertainty, and so much that we can't control that's going on right now, it's important to take the time to take care of what we can control. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. We're, we here at Notable are very glad that we're able to 
provide these videos to you for free on YouTube. That being said, if you have an extra five or ten dollars in your wallet that you just don't know what to do with, uh, we do accept donations and there is a link in the description below as well as at the Notable Music Therapy Services website. Thank you everyone and goodbye.